This is Mac Bowen, Illinois, Matman.com, and I am here with Montini head coach Israel Martinez and his coach Clay Kaida. All right, Clay, just uh, your impression on the tournament so far? Um, out of control. We definitely saw some fireworks. Uh, we knew what we were in for in the finals, and then they got a little extra show too there in, uh, in one of the matches. So, so far. The crowd's on their feet, and uh, they're going to be on their feet for, for Joey, Lamo, uh, Joey Melendez here in a little while. All righty. And uh, Izzy, of course, coming into the season, you know you had a pretty good team. Uh, I believe you guys are still locked in third place right now, and we're already in the finals, and you've got one guy left, Joey Melendez, uh, going for first place. So your impression of how the team wrestled starting from the first day yesterday and then in today, too? You know, we started off strong. You know, uh, I think we, uh, you know, we had a couple pins right away. We missed a couple, you know, majors. We missed a couple uh, attacks. You know, but we started great. We had some, you know, we had 12 guys make it to day two, which was huge. It was, we set a record for Martini. Um, you know, and then you know, we have seven guys that placed at the event. So we, we wrestled hard. We battled, battled hard. You know, and the wrestlebacks, boy, oh boy, you know, you you lose, and then before you know, it, you're wrestling the third seed or the one seed and the five seed, and and um, you know we. We uh, we wrestled tough, and I'm proud of the guys. They they, they did well, you know. And I, you know, the goal is to win. That that's our goal at Montini, and that's my goal personally, you know. And I know Coach Clay Guida and the rest of the staff at Montini feel the same way. Um, you know, we're in it to win it, and um, we fell short. But Blair Academy's got a they were loaded. They have a heck of a team, and. Um, you know, uh, Wyoming Seminary, St. Paris Graham, those guys are right up there. So, we, you know, we're neck and neck with those guys. Um, and overall, it was a great tournament. Uh, mm -hmm. We got a lot of work to do. States, uh, states in February. Now, you had a, a, a freshman wrestler, 106 pounds, named uh, Vasquez. Uh, his first uh, tournament here, he, he, he didn't place, but he wrestled well. Comments? Yeah, and I did well. You know, he's, he's young. You know, he's coming from, uh, you know, the IKWF, and he had some success there. But, you know, he's learning that success in IKWF doesn't mean anything. Um, so so he, he's learning, and but he's working hard. He's a great kid. You know, he battled back, made it to the quarters, lost. You know, and it's tough for these guys to lose. You know, he probably lost five matches in two, three years in the IKWF. So, you know, it's tough when these guys lose to bounce back. But, you know, he's going to live and learn. Yeah, and uh, two of your other guys, you know, we, we know uh, uh, Will Luan took third place, uh, and you had, you know, the obviously the finals match that's all over the place right now between, you know, Woods and Silva, and uh, Joey will be coming up in a little bit. Um, so who are your two seventh placers? You know, Jake Styles. Uh, Jake Styles had a phenomenal tournament, you know, in the in the quarterfinals. He had number one in the country, you know, top guy, uh, top seed at the event. Tough kid. You know, we had him on the ropes, had his leg picked up twice. You know, we ended up, uh, you know, the guy the guy's a, a really good wrestler and uh, with a little bit more experience than us and ended up squeaking that win out on us. You know, we ended up wrestling him in for the seventh and eighth place match and we ended up, you know, turning that turning that against him. So, yeah, Jake Styles, he'd be great. The kid is great growing mentally and physically we're extremely proud of him you know we just got to continue to make improvements with jake and, and, and he's going to do well and who was your other seventh place finisher uh it was pete christensen you know pete did well he beat, beat two guys that beat him at the preseason nationals you know pete's just he's a young boy growing into a, a man's body um he's 198 pounds soaking wet 200 pounds soaking wet and um, last year he, he started off the season believe it or not 170 pounder 160 pounder yeah, yeah, and um, you know, he's growing. His uncles are all six four, six five, his dad's six three. You know, he's gonna be a heavyweight in college. So, um he, he's a uh, he's learning and he's getting better and better every day. And, so Pete did well. And then uh, lastly, uh, Matt Ortiz, uh, great it? job, finished sixth place. Yeah, you know, Matt no Matt's uh Matt's been wrestling for a long time and I think Matt's finally put it all together. Um, you know, not technically but mentally. Mentally he's in there battling, he's in there, you know, squeaking out those matches and you got to be tough here if you want to win those one two point matches against some of these really really good guys. You got to get on their legs early. You got to hand fight them. You got to get after them. And Matt's really picking up on that. And, and we're proud of him. This is a huge tournament. He came in as a ten seed, ended up getting sixth. So so we're extremely proud of Matt. All right, uh, Clay. Any final thoughts? Uh, I'm super super proud of the boys. Uh, and I think a lot of the state, a lot of the, uh, the country took notice. You know, what I mean, we brought fourteen down here. It's the first time. We haven't brought 14 here? Right. I don't think so. And uh, like I said, from freshmen to seniors, 
we saw a lot of growth, uh, a lot of maturity, and these kids are only going to improve as the season goes on. So I think we made a statement, and um, you're going to see us get better at the end of the year when it counts, too. Right, and uh, is he going forward now? You guys have got, of course, a really tough schedule coming up. I believe uh, you have a, a quad at Marmion Academy coming up. And then, of course, Cheesehead, uh, uh, Clash, Cheesehead, and then, of course, the C Chicago C <laughs> Championship League. Yeah. So it's, it's a grind. Yeah, we're excited. You know, it's it's nothing new to us. You know, it's new to probably new to the viewers, maybe new to some people, but it's nothing new to us. This is the story of our lives here, man. You know, we 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 uh, we, we put our foot on the line every day, and we try to wrestle the best guys in the country, and uh, that that's kind of where our mentality is at Montini. We, our boys are tough, our program's tough, and and we live and die by that sword. You know, we're gonna put it on the line, come to the Ironman. Our best guys get beat, some of them win, and same thing. That's why we go to the clash. That's why we go to the cheese head and uh, we have a tough duel next week with Marmion you know they didn't have a good tournament but I know they're better than what they showed today you know I know that sure. they have uh, young boys on their team that work extremely hard and, and that are capable of of competing uh, at a high high level um, you know then the CCL CCL is great as long as the brackets you know it, the, the brackets are tough there um, you know because it's it's basically a lot of times the top three four guys in the state and then then it kind of falls off you know so it's so it's uh you know it's tough to we got to make sure we get our points when we can score points we got to get our points when we can score pins we got to get our pins because um you know the competition gets tough after round one yeah when well, you would also say at the uh chicago catholic league championships it's tough too because you're facing guys who you've may maybe wrestled over and over again through the you through the years and during the season a lot of the same faces. You got to make the necessary improvements to, to win when it counts right before state, you know, and downstate. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time and good luck going forward. Thank you. Thank you, guys.